there's this um, Quincy Jones interview that's like kind of getting a lot of traction right now where he's like, oh, they were terrible players. And yeah, they, they, they were, but that's the most punk shit ever. <laughs> like they, yeah, they didn't know how to fucking play and they went and they wrote songs that forever changed history. I mean, um, you know, that's, I don't know how to play either. <laughs> I want to hold your hand. They they just changed music. It was something as simple as saying I want to hold your hand and it changed the world forever. I'm going to go with a classic. I'm going to go a little old school on this one. I'm going to go with Elvis Presley, Can't Help Falling in Love, which again is just a song that's just stood the test of time. It's just so dreary and romantic and I mean like, say what you will about Elvis, but I mean the man was an icon, you know. And his, his voice is just so... Um, incredible. You guys ran a feature a while back where I covered the song and my friend William Control covered the song and we did it both such different styles but it shows how influential Elvis was um, and, and how that song just of all of his songs seems to be one that people keep going back to. That somewhere right now someone's grandma is dreaming of fucking Elvis and I just think about like that's awesome right like he created sexuality with like when it was like a time of like Bizarre. My man was just thrusting his hips around doing a dance, and people are like, "That's kind of, I'm kind of vibing with this." Best love song of all time, "Level Te Terrace Apart" by Joy Division, and I mean, it's a sad song, you know. And and I think a lot of times love songs should be sad because that's what the emo that's what draws us into our emotions and lets us know that we actually love, you know, when we feel pain and longing and. We want something more than anything else, especially when we know we can't have it. And that, to me, a lot of times is what lets you know that you truly love something because you, you, you just can't let it go. The best ever love song is Home by Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros. Uh, that's a really special song to me. It was kind of, it was my wife and I's song. I guess it still is. We're still together. Um, and it's still a song. And it is still a song, exactly. Yeah, uh, it's a beautiful song. It's, I really like the line in it, uh, home is wherever I'm with you, which is cool because I'm on tour a lot and I'm away from my wife a lot. And sometimes she'll come out and visit me on tour and it doesn't matter if we're at home or not. You know, as long as we're together, like wherever we are, it's, that's cool for us. I, I reckon it's Kissing You by Desiree. It's the song where Romeo and Juliet see each other for the first time through the fish tank in the movie. And I just, I just love it. It's like, it's kind of heartbreaking. I really love the bittersweet um, feeling in the lyrics. She says, heaving heart is full of pain, oh the aching, and I'm kissing you. And I just kind of love heartbreak love like that. And Dear John by Taylor Swift is like one of my best favorite love songs ever. But it just hits so hard, it's so honest and true. It is slow, I love like, bam, like it's fucking, the tempo is just so great, okay. but now it's like, you know, I hate the girl that I used to have significance with. <laughs> Best ever love song? Drop it like it's hot, Snoop Dogg? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Drop it, I just imagine two people just dropping it like it's hot and they're just in love, dropping it together forever, you know? Uh, Bleeding Love by Leona Lewis. Uh, it just, it's just all build. It just keeps going and going. And then it's just got that massive last big chorus. It's, I guess it's like, a, it is like a love song, but it's also like a bittersweet kind of love song. It really just hits you right there. Right there. Yeah. Frank Iero on the celebration. She's the pretty, prettiest girl at the party and she can prove it with a solid right. That's a left. This is a left. Right. <laughs> the guitar and just the lyrics uh, are very engaging. You know, it really talks about like having to leave a lot and then just like having that person there and that you could be, really be nothing without this person. And that's just as always how, how I felt like when that album came out and then I had, I had met my wife. Um, it just really like that's all I ever listened to on tour for like the longest time. Remember that day? <laughs> uh, so, so it's just, I don't know, it just always really captivated me and kind of 
almost opened me, actually it did, because I didn't really believe in love for a while, because it's just so annoying and a waste of time and money, and it's, it's so dark, bro. No, it, it, you know, it's just so taxing. I wanted to focus on other things, but then, you know, when, when things are meant to happen, they happen. So, um, but yeah, that song just really kind of was like warming my heart back up. So I, I really enjoy it. I just did some drumming in Asia for two, for two and a half weeks, and I was teaching and performing and meeting kids over there in, in seven different countries. And I had help from a guy named Rashid. He plays drums for John Legend. Um, and I didn't know much about John Legend before this tour uh, with Rashid, but he was talking to me about the band and how Rash or, or how John Legend would get paid, you know, this amount of money. I won't say how much, a lot, to go play a wedding to play one song. And he gets paid another amount to take his wife, Chrissy Teigen, like just for her to be there. So I was like, I gotta look up these songs. And it turns out I had heard this song, I just didn't know it was John Legend. It's called All of Me. It's an awesome song. It's just piano and him. Uh, he has a great voice. And uh, I've heard it at weddings before. Uh, but it's a, it, it's a song about, you know, you giving everything that you have and everything you are to someone else and you wanting everything that they have and everything they are. Um, but, you know, without boundaries, without walls, without reservations. I think I'm gonna have to keep it real Canadian here um, and go with Joni Mitchell's A Case of You. It's kind of like a, a lamenting love song, but it's really, um, I don't know, it just kind of like brings up all the sort of warm feelings of love. I don't know what love is, so I'm not really sure like what to say a love song would be. Uh, I don't know. The first thing that comes to my mind is Tom Petty, only simply because I love Tom Petty, I think. Um, yeah, I don't really have a good answer for you.